Hi, it's Katrina. Technology is advancing so fast these days, it's hard to keep up, especially when it comes to the state-of-the-art developments of the world's armed forces. From self-steering bullets to copying squid camouflage, here are eight amazing new military technologies. Number 8. Self-steering bullets when it comes to hitting targets in challenging conditions such as high winds and dusty terrain, even the most skilled snipers are limited by current technology. Any shot that misses its mark puts the safety of our own troops at risk by indicating their presence and possibly exposing their location. Therefore, one major goal of the U.S. military is to enable faster and more accurate engagement of sniper targets. In 2011, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, collaborated with the military contractor Teledyne Technologies and ammunition manufacturer Orbital ATK on the Exacto project, which sought to develop the first ever guided small caliber bullet. While the developers of the project avoid going into too much detail about how the bullet works, they've revealed that the system tracks and delivers the projectile to the target using both the maneuverable bullet and a real-time guidance system. The nose and tail of the 50 caliber bullet bullet contains tiny optical sensors, enabling it to rapidly change course in mid-air. With a system this advanced, even an amateur shooter would theoretically be able to hit moving targets with ease. Sudden environmental changes, such as a gust of wind, would not interfere with the shot given the bullet's course-correcting capabilities. This new technology supersedes current state-of-the-art sniper systems and greatly enhances a sniper's day and nighttime range. Although this system has not yet officially entered service, the future of the exact project is promising. DARPA revealed in a 2018 press release that to date, the smart bullets have passed their most advanced live fire tests. Number 7. Unmanned Submarine Hunter in recent years, militaries throughout the world have deployed increasingly quiet submarines, which are capable of remaining undetected and very close to shore. To keep up with this advancing technology, DARPA launched the Anti-Submarine Warfare Continuous Trail Unmanned Vessel, or ACTUV program, also known as the Sea Hunter. The Sea Hunter is a water-based drone capable of traversing thousands of kilometers of open sea for months at a time, without a single crew member aboard, while hunting submarines. It can autonomously navigate through narrow channels and shipping traffic using sonar, radar, and other synthetic vision systems. In January of last year, DARPA announced the successful completion of the ACTUV program, which was then formally transferred to the Office of Naval Research for further development of the prototype vehicle. Alexander Whalen, a program manager in DARPA's Tactical Technology Office, hailed the transfer of the Sea Hunter to the Office of Naval Research as a significant milestone in developing large-scale USV technology and autonomy capabilities. DARPA and the ONR first collaborated in 2014 and began jointly conducting open water testing of ACTUV technology in October 2016, before the project was officially handed over to the ONR in January of 2018. Number 6. Every Ship an Aircraft Carrier since World War II, the U.S. Navy has envisioned the day when fixed-wing aircraft can be vertically launched and recovered from a ship deck. That dream may soon become a reality thanks to DARPA's Tactically Exploited Reconnaissance Node, or TURN program, which was launched in 2013. According to the official DARPA website, TURN is an advanced technology development program that seeks to design, develop, and demonstrate a medium-altitude, long-endurance, unmanned aircraft system and related technologies that enable future launch, recovery, and operations from small ships. In November 2017, Henry S. Kenyon reported in AFCEA's Signal magazine that a prototype vehicle that successfully fits the bill had been developed. Anyone keeping up with this magazine? Using a pair of nose-mounted, counter-rotating propellers, the unmanned aerial vehicle is capable of launching vertically and hovering, then transitioning to high-speed horizontal flight. This is done by shifting the propellers to propulsion mode, causing air to be pushed over its large, fixed-wing surfaces. The turn looks like an aircraft sitting on its tail at first glance, which is essentially what it is. In addition to its takeoff and flight capabilities, the turn is equipped with a radar-based automated landing system, of course. Number 5. Squid Camouflage 
As infrared vision systems become more common, traditional camouflage is becoming less effective, which is a problem for soldiers in the fields. To combat this issue, scientists at the University of California, Irvine are working to develop an infrared coating called invisibility patches. They're made from a structural protein called reflectin, which enables some animals, including the common squid and certain octopus species, to change the color and reflectivity of their skin. The scientists created the optically reflective thin patch using reflectin that was grown in a bacteria culture. While the developers may be years away from turning this material into an effective military product, the future of reflectin is promising because it functions in the same wavelengths as night vision systems. This invention would be especially helpful for improving camouflage for stealth operations and making forces more difficult to detect in the dark. In 2015, an international team of scientists conducted the first ever entire genome analysis of an octopus. Several unique features were revealed in the findings, some of which likely played a role in the evolution of this adaptive camouflage trait. There's plenty of other technology that we can get from nature. Number 4. Super Stealth Bomber The next generation long-range strike bomber, also known as the B-21, will replace the military's aging B-52 fleet and will complement its small fleet of B-2 stealth bombers. Although the multi-billion dollar project will take many years, it's currently in the research phase. The project's goals are to develop a new, high-speed aircraft possessing total stealth and heavy bomb cargo capacity. To achieve super stealth, the airframe will be made out of a hardened, reflective material that can change colors to reflect its surroundings and that is capable of avoiding radar. Ideally, the plane would match the conditions of the sky. In other words, it would be blue during the daytime, dark at night, and white during cloud cover. The development of the B-21 bomber is partially in response to the perceived ever-increasing threat of China's rapid modernization of their military and will play a vital role for national security according to Northrop Grumman's description of the aircraft. While the U.S. Air Force remains noticeably cryptic about this topic, Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson confirmed in February 2018 that the program is on schedule and that the Air Force plans to purchase at least 100 B-21s out of the projected 175 bomber fleet. Number 3. Advances in Satellite Technology Some 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface, there are countless commercial and governmental satellites in orbit. While this distance is an ideal region for the provision of meteorology, national security, and communication services, it's not so convenient when a satellite malfunctions and needs to be inspected, diagnosed, and repaired or upgraded. For this reason, as things currently stand, when a satellite is launched into space, it's loaded with as much fuel as it can carry and as many backup systems as it can accommodate. To address the growing number of satellites with obsolete payloads, DARPA launched the Robotic Servicing of Geosynchronous Satellites, or RSGS program. One part of the program aims to establish a robotic servicing vehicle that is capable of tending to ailing satellites. Additionally, advancing satellite technology can improve national security. Another DARPA program, launched jointly with Northrop Grumman and Raytheon, is developing technology that will seek and hunt an adversary's satellite. In the best case scenario, simple physics will enable the DARPA-created satellite to destroy the enemy satellite over the course of several weeks by reflecting a sunbeam on it. The heat would cause the enemy satellite to fall out of orbit or combust. Number 2. Russia's First Autonomous Strike Drone this summer, Russia's first large combat drone, Okhotnik, or Hunter, will make its first flight. Experts believe that the drone, first spotted earlier this year, is designed to deliver precision-guided bombs at long ranges while acting as an unmanned bomber. Hunter was designed by Russia's Sukhoi Aircraft Design Bureau and resembles the U.S. military's 31-year-old B-2 stealth bomber in profile. It was first seen in January of this year near the city of Novosibirsk at the Chikalov Aviation Plant. Ground trials have reportedly been being conducted since November of last year. On May 14th, Russian President Vladimir Putin reportedly visited Chikalov, according to the national interest, and he claimed that the aircraft's development is on time. The drone will fly for the first time in July or August, according to the Russian state-owned news agency TASS. Hunter likely contains a large internal weapons bay thanks to its lack of a need for a cockpit and the life-sustaining functions necessary for a human pilot. Although this technology is nothing new to the U.S. military and that of several other Western countries, it marks a milestone in the advance of Russian military technology and the country's ability to attack against heavily defended targets. Number 1. The Next Generation Squad Weapon the U.S. Army's newest rifle, known as the Next Generation Squad Weapon, comes equipped with features customarily used in other products such as iPhones and tanks. 
This weapon will arm ground troops and infantry and will possess technology never before seen in the weapons industry. Included among these advanced technological features are facial recognition, target tracking, and hydrophobic or water-resistant coatings for lenses. The next generation squad weapon will replace the M4A1 carbine, an updated version of the M16 that was first introduced into the military in 1965, and the M249 squad automatic weapon, which first entered service during the late 1980s. Since these times, warfare has changed drastically, and gravity takes an inevitable toll on the ability for modern infantry bullets to travel up to 3,000 feet per second. One of the development goals of the next generation squad weapon is a ballistic computer that is able to project a bullet's exact impact point. Additionally, the Army plans for the weapon to have a one-second boot-up time and wireless connectivity capabilities. Are you impressed yet? Thanks for watching! What do you think about these amazing new technologies? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to join the Origins Explained family! See you next time! Bye!